Hi, welcome to UGC Net Online Pre Coaching. Already I have discussed December 2004 and uh, June 2005. Today I will start new series June, oh, sorry, December 2005. Let's see first question. T is a graph with n vertices. T is a connected and has exactly n minus 1 edges. Then if you know the it's a straightforward question if you know the definition of tree you can answer easily look at the options t is a tree t contains no cycle every pair of vertices in t is exactly sorry t is connected by exactly one path this is a uh, definition of tree tree is a connected acyclic graph is called tree means if it is a tree definitely it has n vertices then n minus 1 edges let us assume this is a, uh, let us uh, assume this is a tree there are seven vertices exactly six edges so n vertices n minus 1 edges so it is a tree means if t is a graph n vertices t is connected uh, uh, and has exactly n minus 1 it just means so definitely it is a tree t is a tree and t contains no cycle yes it is a cyclic graph is called tree so it is uh, that is also true then every pair of vertices in g in t is connected by exactly one path definitely look at this tree every pair of uh, edges connected only exactly one path so it is also true so answer is all of the all of these means op option is d look at second question if the proposition actually it is not a seven it is negation negation of p implies q is true then the truth value of the proposition is proposition negation of p or p implies q is look at what is what you will get actually 7 is not a 7 it is negation let us assume it is a negation symbol if if it is 7 definitely it is on option is d cannot be determined sometime it may be a typing mistake so don't select suddenly it is uh, uh, cannot be determined uh, so look at uh, check it this is let us assume this is a negation so negation of p implies q the negation of p or p implies q is true means negation of p implies q is true then what is the value of negation of p and q negation of p and q if it is in implication in implies only first one is true second one is false then the resulting answer is false uh, in all other cases is true so uh, in it is true means what definitely this is the combination true true is true false true is true false false is true in implies so if it is true then obviously you will get the um, logical op uh, answers are true false false this is true true false now negation of p or p implies q so this is negation of p p implies q this is means in our condition both are false then the answer is false otherwise it is true so you take it in any options you will not get false because false false is false in or condition but here true false true true is true true false is true true false is true so answer is true so option is a is right if it is 7 is considered as a negation if it is if it is this is a 7 then uh, uh, answer is d cannot be determined so uh, in this case according to me this is option is a true let a and b two arbitrary events then probability of a intersection b equal to probability of a 
into probability of B. Probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Probability of A union B is less than or equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Probability of A or B equal to probability of A intersection B plus probability. Actually, first three options are all our standard formulas theorems, but last one is false. Look at the first one is two events A and B are independent, then the probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A and probability of B. Then second one is if two events A and B are mutually exclusive, means additive theorem, then probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. If A and B be two arbitrary events, then probability of A union B less than or equal to probability of A plus probability of B. Conditional probability the theorem, actually according to conditional probability theory, probability of A or B is probability of A intersection B by probability of B, but it is plus. So, strike out option is D. First three options, anyone is right. Now, look at the question. Let A and B are two arbitrary events. Here, if A and B two arbitrary events, then this is the answer. So, option is C. If you know the all the formula, you can answer any. If, if, if next time it may ask uh, if two A and B are independent, then what are, what is the formula? It may ask any question. So be careful. Look at uh, fourth question. Which statement can be generated by the given is uh, productions S yes, D or B A and uh, A A tends to D or C C A. So uh, look at uh, try to solve this one uh, the given is s is equal to d or b a a is d or c c a now start with the uh, initial state s is equal to b a you take any one because if you select a d it will terminate because it is a uh, terminal symbol so uh, select b a now look at the options uh, sometime you may get in first uh, round only answer so first it will start with b here there is no B, here there is no B, no B. So, don't waste your time, select A is the answer. But anyhow, try to solve this question. Uh, next, if it is A, A, there are two options. One is D, R, C, C, A. If you substitute D, it will stop B, D, but there is no option. So, uh, continue, uh, try to uh, substitute. In A is C, C, A. So, answer is B, C, C, A. What is your A? A again you will get C C, but here there is no C C. So you need to stop here. D. All are terminal symbols. Uh, so it will it is not possible to generate next uh, string. So stop here. The answer is B C C D, but there is no option here. Uh, according to me, uh, it does not contain A in the production so it must be a so uh, by looking half of the answer is right so select option is a there is no none of these option also so uh, there is no other option so select a but it's not right answer um, anyhow uh, looking other options this is the better answer so select a okay now we'll move to the Fifth question, a regular expression A plus B denotes the set. So A plus B means A or B. Uh, definitely regular expressions, uh, it will not uh, contain a null symbol. This is the standard property. So definitely uh, A plus B means A or B, uh, but not null. So A or B, the option is C. This is a direct question. There is no A plus B means A or B. So simple uh, basic question. Now we'll move to the next question. Which of the following is divisible by 4? This is looking like uh, difficult but it's very easy if you know how to solve this one. Uh, convert that to decimal number then check it is divisible by 4 or not. So how will you convert? You will use shortcut method. Select option A. Option is A is 1001011100. Then write directly 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2. Write all 8 bits positions. 
Now this is zero. Leave it. This is zero. Leave it. Now you will get a two raised to two. This is four plus two raised to three eight. Four plus eight is twelve. So two raised to five is thirty two. Twelve plus thirty two is forty four. Then two raised to eight is two fifty six. So forty four plus two fifty six is definitely three hundred. So this is don't select. Uh, zero into something is you will get zero only. So use shortcut method. Two fifty six plus thirty two plus eight plus four is three hundred. Is three hundred divisible by four? Yes. You will get a first option only. Select A. Don't need to uh, check it next one because there is no none of these option. There is no all of these. So select A. No need to check other options. Okay. But uh, anyhow, check it one more. C. One 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 one. 0011 so right 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 already you got the answer just for cross verification you need to check 2 raised to 0 is 1 2 raised to 2 uh, 2 raised to 1 is 2 so 2 raised to 4 is 16 so sum of all these is 243 but 243 is not divisible by 4 definitely these two answers are not divisible by 4 because already you got option is a so select a don't waste your time if you have a perfect answer select and go for next question okay now i hope it's very clear first given all binary numbers right uh, in 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 like that which, where it is 1 take that value if it is 0 leave it then this is 2 raised to 8 is 256 take this one direct value 2 raised to 5 is 32 take this one so sum of all these you get a sum answer just check it is divisible by 4 4 is divisible by 4, 300 so Uh, straightforward question. There is no need of additional information. So option is A. Half adder is also known as half adder is. This is the truth table of half adder. If you know the, if both the inputs are low current or high current, it will generate uh, low current. If any one input is high, then the answer is uh, output is high current. So. Um, From the above table, we conclude that this is, uh, you know, already if both are low current or high current, it will generate low current. Means it is definitely XOR gate, XOR circuit. So this is also mm, straightforward question. This is XOR. Uh, option is D. Now consider the following sequence of the instructions. This is uh, circle plus A is equal to A plus B. B is equal to this is given sequence. Retains the value of the A and B, or complements the value of A and B, swap the value of A and B, negate negatives the value of A and B. Now check it how exactly. This is A and B. Now check it A equal to first one is A plus B means add these two. If any both are low or high current, it will generate a low current. Otherwise it is high. So this is one one. Remaining is zero zero. Now second one is B equal to A plus B means already you know what is A plus. Now B compare this one zero zero high uh, low current one one high so zero one one zero this is one one these two are zero zero. Now you know what is B. Now check it for A. This is zero zero is zero one zero is one. One one is zero, zero one is one. So answer is zero one zero. This is definitely swap the values of the given values. So uh, hence the sequence swap the values of A and B. Option is C. Now consider the following circuit. The given circuit. This is uh, the given gate. Uh, to make it take tautology, the what is the question for this one? Which Gate is suitable to make it output is true. For this one, check it if you use to make this circuit tautology. The output F should contain high values. Means input values is high, then output definitely will get a high. So this question mark just select NAND gate, then check out output. Now you know the uh, X and Y are the given inputs. Now this is OR. R is low, low is low. In all other cases, high current. So this is and negation of and. And is true, true is true. All other cases is false, but negation of that one is 
uh, true is false all other cases is true now output output definitely this is one one because now it is all there is no low current definitely it is pass a high current if have all the values is ones this can find gate to make it tautology by contradiction method consider for nand gate using nand gate actually you need to check uh, this is the first option i have selected it may uh, better uh, for luck uh, we may get a first option only answer but if it is not then select and gate similarly nor gate but before answering like this question first you need to which is suitable gate to get a high current try to know and select that one uh, that is um, you need a more practice uh, like these questions so option is a i hope there is no doubt if you have any queries anything just mail me uh, just subscribe and share the channel uh, please inform your friends if it is useful really if you are enjoying my channel please inform your friends so we will look at the last question when a inverter is placed between both inputs of fan sr flip flop the resulting flip flop is definitely it is sr flip flop so d flip flop the basic sr flip flop is used to complement the input so d flip flop is the basic sr flip flop used to complement so when the inverter is placed between both inputs of sr flip flop the resulting flip flop is d flip flop so this is also if you know the all the flip flops you can answer this question easily uh, i hope you enjoyed my this video if you have any query just mail me try subscribe the channel and share it thank you